Now authorities of the Cape Coast School for the Deaf and Blind are appealing to government to support them with infrastructure and other educational materials in order to train the students with special abilities. Headmaster of the school, Abraham Anan, says the inadequate infrastructure has culminated in overcrowding in their classrooms, a situation which makes it difficult for serious academic work. The headmaster made the appeal when an NGO Chrissy Foundation handed over a refurbished classroom block and other educational items to the school. <laughs> The Cape Coast School for the Deaf and Blind is one of the many schools that train people with special abilities. The school, for instance, educates people with hearing and visual challenges. But the road network in the school is undulating and thus causes many visually impaired students in the school to fall when they want to move around campus. Many of the school blocks have not also seen renovations for years and the ones that are there are in deplorable conditions. Headmaster of the school, Abraham Annan Yemosen, enumerates some of the challenges the school is confronted with and calls for support from government and other benevolent institutions. So the major one for the deaf is about our classroom space. Now the number of pupils in the class are many and it makes teaching and learning difficult because for the deaf at least you have 10 to 15 students but we have some of the classes we have as much as 42, 45 and the rest. So it's space. Now when it comes to the uh, blind students, in fact the major issue is about our road network. They have been falling off most of the time. Then in fact currently our school population is about 450. We both, I mean, blind and then the deaf students. And because of the challenge that we have in the classroom, for instance, it gives us, it makes teaching and learning difficult. And if the teaching and learning is difficult, you know that it's just complain. Executive Director for Crazy Foundation, Christiana Isidua Isidu, wants more attention to be paid to such institutions to give meaning to the inclusive education Ghana has been preaching. We chose this place because um, every year we organize, you know, projects in different regions. We take um, two regions and we organize programs. We came around Cape Coast and realized that this school needs support. Um, their school block was in a very bad shape. We managed to do one of it and it's left with another one. Even though they can't, some of them can't see, some of them can't hear. But I believe that uh, whichever corner that they are, we need to brighten it up for them. Also to make learning very conducive for these kids. We realize that about 60 of the kids are in one classroom. And we all know we are in COVID time, you know, pandemic is still around. And these kids are held up in one one room not to talk about the dormitories in which they, they sleep it's, it's, it's really not good just as you are building schools for other kids please look at people who are also disabled and then you extend support to them as well the foundation apart from handing over the refurbished block to the school also supported the school with food and educational items reporting for joy news richard kujinyakun cape coast